hello everyone hope you are doing well so our today's topic is on quick review on obesity and cachexia so first i am going to start with obesity what is obesity if we are talking about obesity so obesity you can say that accumulation of free or natural fats in adipose tissues you can say that accumulation accumulation of free or natural fats in adipose tissues in adipose tissues so what is the meaning of <clears throat> free and what is the meaning of natural fats as i will move further then you can understand what is the meaning of this so when the extra fat will accumulate in adipose tissues then it will cause the increase in the weight and that is known as obesity so if you will see the main location location of obesity or sorry obesity location of deposition or accumulation of fat mainly that fats are accumulate in omentum in omentum then you can say in pericardium it can also accumulate in muscles or you can say pericardial muscles then in breast right then it can also accumulate in subcutaneous tissues sub cutaneous tissues so these are the main locations where the where you can say uh, the fat can accumulate in the body so what will happen normally normally in our body rate rate of what normally in our body lipogenesis is equal to lipo lysis right so lipogenesis is equal to lipogenesis so there will be an equilibrium between fats so in this case what will happen then the rate of lipogenesis will high and the rate of lipolysis will decrease which will lead to increase fat in body and that increase fat will accumulate in different part of the body right so if we will talk about its etiology of <coughs> etiology of obesity then you can see from here i think so etiology we have two main etiologies first etiology is known as primary and second is known as secondary primary etiology is idiopathic idiopathic mean to say unknown and second is due to second is due to number 1 cerebral disturbance cerebral <coughs> disorder or disturbance number second elementary disorder
elementary disorder then you can say congenital one two three congenital and fourth number is endocrine and some other factors like increase intake of fatty food or less exercise so these are the also some factors for obesity so here you have definition of obesity location where the fats have to accumulate then what is the process will be their etiology so if you are talking about uh, how you can measure the obesity or pathology of the obesity or you can say better that how you can find out the obesity in a person so to find out the obesity in a person we have three different ways number one you can find out according to number one according to topographically right number second we have according to degree or you can say by degree by <coughs> by degree and third one we have by histologically so i have to change the mic by histologically right so i am going to start with topographically in topographically we have three different type of obesity number one we have upper type we have number second middle type and we have lower type if we are talking about upper type of obesity in this type the you can say that the fat will accumulate in head also in neck in face and in upper limb that is known as upper type obesity if we are talking about middle type of obesity in middle type that uh, fat will accumulate in spine and abdomen in spine and abdomen and lower type means lower limb only So these are the three types of obesity according to topographically. If we are talking about according to degree, then this, this is the most important one. If we have first degree, we have second degree obesity, we have third degree obesity, and we have fourth degree of obesity so how we will find out these degrees so for that you must have to know the normal body weight of the person according to height so here for example a person have 20 to 29 percent extra body weight 
then it will be in first degree obesity you first you have to find out the normal weight of the body of the person according to height in that if there will be 20 to 29 percent extra weight is there then it will be first degree obesity if there will be extra 30 to 39 percent it will be second degree obesity if there will be 50 to 59 percent extra body weight it will be third degree obesity and four degree less than 100 mean to say above than nine above than 90 till 100 above than 90 till 100 or more than 100 percent then it will be fourth degree obesity if we are talking about by histologically so histologically i have to clip i have to change the pen histologically we have two types one is hypertrophic red color is no not visible change the marker the pen will be good here okay this one histologically we have upper we have hypertrophic hypertrophic means if there will be increase in size of the cell if the size of the cell will increase mean to say the person will become size of the cell will increase it will lead to increase organ size if organ size will increase mean to say there will be obesity and second one we have hyperplastic hyperplastic in hyperplastic what will happen there will be increase number of cells right so this one is obesity simply so obesity location its rate how it will cause etiology mean etiologies and some risk factor or you can say yes risk factor then how you can measure is the, uh, obesity by topographically by degree and by histologically so the next i am moving towards the cachexia cachexia is just opposite to just opposite to obesity cachexia just opposite to obesity right in obesity lipogenesis will be high and lipolysis will be low but in case of cachexia lipogenesis will be low and lipolysis will be high what will happen it will lead to more and more lysis of protein so in this case due to which what will happen the patient will become underweight Its etiology are almostly almost same except uh, risk factor uh, like uh, obesity. So here once again I can write here in uh, cachexia the etiologies will be you can see here I think so. Number one there is cerebral disorder. Number second there will be elementary disorder number three endocrine problem endocrine problem number four chronic infection that is new from for a for cachexia that is your chronic infection 
एंड नंबर फोर फाइव सॉरी ट्रोमा सॉरी ट्यूमर और कैंसर सो दिस वन वाज अ जस्ट क्विक रिव्यू रिव्यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मी थैंक यू टेक केयर गुड बाय